This is enemy territory Quake Wars for the PC. Uh, it's basically Battlefield 2142, but set in the Quake universe with a couple of Twitch changes to it. Uh, that's no terrible thing, but really, uh, we were expecting a bit more for the legendary id software uh, than this. Uh, this essentially is a, a team-based first-person uh, sci-fi shooter. Uh, you uh, work towards objectives, uh, in this case for instance repairing uh, a vehicle, then getting it moving through a compound, uh, and as you clear each objective, the, the map changes and you focus down tighter and tighter. So one side defends, one side attacks. Um, by the end of uh, each 20 minute match, you're more often than not focusing on one incredibly tightly defended patch of ground um, with uh, both sides respawning continuously and, and waving back into the fray. Um, it's well done uh, and there's lots of fun to be had uh, in vehicles, jumping in and out of jeeps and choppers and weird alien strog machines uh, that walk around on four legs and whatever. But um, ultimately the steep, incredibly steep, uh, no let's make this ludicrously steep hardcore learning curve um, that while single player lets you play with, against bots still really doesn't train you how to play and when you go online, uh, unless you're really good, you get mullered straight away um, is a big problem and the other big problem is fundamentally a little game called Team Fortress 2 coming out any minute now um, in uh, Valve's The Orange Box and, and that game looks great, uh, plays brilliantly and really uh, has a sense of personality that this is severely lacking with its generic sci-fi trappings and brown uh, colour scheme. So we say wait for The Orange Box, wait for Team Fortress 2. If you must, this is a solid 7 out of 10.